Okay, everyone, I think it's time that we actually uh, get uh, the camera out and start discussing a lot of what has happened in the past few weeks and such. There's a couple things, such as a product had leaked from Apple supply chain, and apparently Russian tech reviewers have managed to get their hands on it before Apple even announced it. That's insane. And then Apple also announced an iPad mini. And then we got a whole drama situation we have to cover, but that's for another video. Anywho, uh, cue the intro. Once again, I'm behind on the news, and that's unfortunately because I am always a, an extremely busy person who never has enough time and or energy at the same time to be able to just pull out their camera and start discussing the news. Now, I happen to have both of those things, so let's do it. First up, I want to talk about the whole MacBook leak. You guys remember what happened to the whole iPhone 4 uh, leaking at a bar or something like that? A random Apple employee just accidentally left the next generation of iPhone at a bar. Yeah, that was really embarrassing. Pretty sure some somebody got fired the next day. Well, as it turns out, there's now a way worse leak that even tops that. Now, albeit, this product probably isn't as interesting as the iPhone 4 was at the time. It's uh, another MacBook with another M chip upgrade. Wow, really exciting. It's like, yeah, of course, we're getting a refreshed MacBook with a refreshed chip. So is there really anything to be excited about when compared to the iPhone 4, brand new redesign, brand new custom silicon, because that was when I believe Apple had switched from Motorola chip to their own custom silicon. Yeah, iPhone 4 was a really big, really hyped product, and yeah, accidentally leaving it at a bar, that was a pretty bad look for Apple. But now, basically, everybody knows everything about these brand new MacBook Pros, and nobody really cares about that, if I'm being honest. If you're still one of those weirdos who haven't actually upgraded to Apple Silicon yet, why? You guys are fully aware how much better Apple Silicon truly is, right? Yeah, if you haven't done it just yet, I don't know, you might want to do it now. These people are probably going to be the only people who actually care about uh, the next generation MacBook, you know, the, the MacBook with M4 silicon and such. But apparently uh, Russian tech reviewers somehow managed to get their hands on this product like a few weeks to a month before Apple even announced the October event if we have an arguing an October event this year, which hey, it's currently October 17th as I recorded this and uh, that means we're over halfway through October and we still haven't gotten an event announced. Hopefully it doesn't happen while I'm on vacation vacation at the end of this month, because I would not be happy if that were the case. Then again, maybe I'd have faster internet and could potentially do a live stream. I don't know. But yeah, Russian tech reviewers already got their hands on it. They've already made their unboxing videos and even worse to what Apple's probably <laughs> not wanting to hear, they even benchmarked the M4 MacBook Pros. Yep, they've already run the benchmarks. They've already done, did their performance testing. So now at this point, I guess Apple doesn't really have anything to talk about should they launch the M4 MacBook Pros because we all basically know everything about them at this point. Unless Apple decides to quickly do some re-engineering and quick timeline supply chain machining magic and just happen to make some slight changes so that way they can just try to prove that all of these Russian YouTubers got fake M4 MacBook Pros or something along the lines. Who knows if Apple were to do that or not? I mean, I know they're the type of company to really get on a massive leak like this and they probably would change a product just for the sake of trolling. I I'm sure that they do something like this before. It wouldn't be the first time. But yeah, that now makes me wonder, are we going to have an October event? Especially because just uh, a couple days ago, actually, we got a site refresh and we got a new iPad mini, which I'm not saying it's a bad thing we got a new iPad mini. Honestly, the iPad mini was a tad overdue for a refresh, if I was being honest, but got updated silicon, updated storage as well. Finally upped it from 64 to 128 gigs of storage. Seriously, 64 gigs in a tablet today is kind of not all that great. So yeah, they pretty much just refreshed the iPad mini enough to bring it up to today's modern standards because last time they had uh, uh, refreshed it, it was like, what, 2021? Yeah, 2021. Nice that we got an iPad mini. The one thing that I was kind of hoping for was that they had addressed the Jellygate issues, which, okay, technically this is a problem with pretty much every 60 hertz iPad. It's just your naked eye typically hasn't been able to see it, but the way that the display of the iPad mini was constructed, it allowed you to see it much easier than various other iPads. And so that's why we noticed Jellygate being an issue. So I'm hoping that 
that they changed the way the display is constructed so that way we don't see Jellygate as much because for a $500 tablet, having a screen like that is, uh, well, not necessarily screaming $500. So I hope Apple fixed that. Oh, and then of course they did a color palette change in. Okay, they at least finally have one masculine color in there. Thank you very much. Having a feminine palette only was, I don't know, it felt kind of sexist of Apple to be honest because they were only catering to one demographic. Now we're neutral on that. Okay, that's good. Except, oh yeah, they basically ran out of printer ink again and basically we got iPhone 15s color palette this time. So you win some, you lose some. But yeah, with these past couple of leaks, it just makes me wonder, are we getting an event this October? Because I mean, we've got a bunch of M4 Silicon Max that we're still waiting for. Supposedly the iMac's getting a refresh. Uh, we're also waiting on an updated Mac mini to come out. I hear that they're supposedly updating the Mac mini to make it the size of an Apple TV. And so if that were the case, I mean, I hope we still get an event because it's exciting. Just I'm not sure if we're getting one anymore. What do you guys think? Feel free to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Do me a favor and interact with the stuff below. My name is Alpha DeWolf, Random Alpha, signing out.